Nairobi ranking as the capital of the East and Central Africa, it has great innovations, developments and luxury estates to stay in, making it a great city and down with so many residential areas. I have done an in-depth research into some of the residential upper class estates in Nairobi. The reason these places are ranked at the top most expensive are their prime location, good infrastructure and high security. What's up people, welcome back to the channel, right? Today's video is one that is like really, really interesting. So as you all know, I'm in the city of Nairobi, Kenya. And today we are making the top 10 videos where we're going to drive around the, 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 the city showing you the real estate showing you where the rich live you know like kind of like doing like a countdown because you guys really love most of these videos and of course <laughs> i have the help of my friend i can't do this alone because there's so there's so much restrictions here filming flying drones and also this is african tra um, traveler i'm going to link to his channel somewhere here uh, when i was told you're coming here i got like three calls really? i got three calls hey uh, steve nduku is coming to kenya <laughs> and uh, <laughs> i got from uh, Ben, I got okay. from him, yeah. I got from, I don't know, was it Trudy or, or Maya? Okay. It's like, hey, Nduku is coming to Kenya and uh, <laughs> please support him. And uh, like, and I was like, yeah, yeah, definitely. I had already heard about you okay. from Josh because yeah, of you. your awesome drone shots, your real estate. <laughs> yeah. And when you told me like, hey, I'm here, I was like, yeah, I was really, really wowed. And uh, so I'm really glad that I'm going to show you, I get the honor to show you yeah. uh, your, 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 your world fun. Kenya. Mm. So I'm pumped about this. Thank you so much for try to for showing me around mm -hmm. your city. Yeah. So guys, um, let's just dive right into the video already. Number five on the list is Enyare. It is an upscale and exclusive estate for the cream de la cream of Nairobi. Enyare Estate is located between Ngachi Road. Tigiri Bridge and Red Hills Road. It is a highly controlled estate that does not allow access to public service vans and further controls any private cars driving into the estate. The exclusive estate strictly protects its diplomats and expatriate families living within it. This exclusivity attracts great home developers looking to seat the best home designs of international standards. Access roads and estate maintenance are well done to firmly accommodate great people. Furthermore, Inyari serves to attract international students who come to study in Kretch International School. A six-bedroom house sitting on 12,000 square feet in Inyari Estate costs around 180 million Kenya shillings, which is about $1.67 million. Other prime five-bedroom mercenaries in Inyari Estate cost at around 250 million Kenya shillings, which is about $2.3 million. An acre of land in the estate range between 100 million Kenya shillings, which is about $928,000, to $200 million Kenya shillings, which is about $1.85 million. Similarly, a four bedroom would cost you anywhere up to 450,000 Kenya shillings per month, which is about $4,100 per month. Number four on the countdown is Lavington and Kileleshwa. I paired both estates together because they are opposite facing neighborhoods. But first, let's talk about Kileleshwa. It is an uptown mixed estate with both residential and commercial apartments. Despite the estate being an upper middle class range estate, it is gaining a significant position in the latest estate development in Nairobi. This is because it hosts a significant number of rich people due to its location. It is in the heart of the city. Kaleleshwa Upscale Estate has the best road network, school and apartments for its different price ranges. Although it is one of the oldest neighborhoods in Nairobi, Kaleleshwa still remains a lush upscale suburb to live in. A lot of apartments in Kaleleshwa are high rise, obviously because of the cost of land. It usually comes with a lot of lush green areas, swimming pools, and every amenities a high-class estate comes with. A six-bedroom house would cost approximately 155 million Kenya shillings. Moreover, some exclusive high-end five-bedroom would cost anywhere around 33 million Kenya shillings. 
which is about 3.62 million dollars the price of renting a three-bedroom house in kileleshwa goes for anywhere around 160,000 kenyan shillings which is about 1400 dollars per month and you can get a bed sitter for around 25,000 kenyan shillings which is about 232 dollars per month Well, Lavington is a high-end estate in the northwest of Nairobi city. It is one of the most expensive estates in Nairobi with lots of cozy homes and elegant mercenaries. Did you know that this estate is named after a colonialist British politician, Ralph Lavington? Living in Lavington might be expensive, but it is definitely worth living in such a serene estate. The estate is within the Westlands larger administrative center, giving you the best access to what the city offers. The area is popular for its elegant and beautiful houses. Lavington is also home to prestigious schools in Nairobi. According to high-end consulting, 0.7% of an acre in Lavington would cost you around 320 million Kenyan shillings, which is about $2.9 million. According to a study done by Sionton on ideal areas to live in Nairobi, the average rent of an apartment in Lavington would cost you anywhere around 150,000 Kenya shillings per month, which is about $1,400. Lavington is truly reserved for the super wealthy. Number three on the countdown is Kitusuru. It is an elegant estate among the flashy estates of Nairobi city. Kitusuru's close proximity to the wasteland makes it an uptown commercial and residential estate. However, this estate is considerably more affordable to the middle class. The estate has some of the best and smoothest road in comparison to its other competing expensive estates in Nairobi. One of the biggest reasons Kutusuru is one of the best places in Nairobi is its connection to Nyari, Ronda and Westland estates. The estate is in the midst of great malls, good apartments and has reliable security. Despite Kitusuru being among the expensive estates in Nairobi, you can be lucky enough to find a small house costing as low as 35,000 Kenya shillings per month, which is about $3,500. According to Mitsula Properties, buying a house in Kitusuru would averagely cost you around 25 million Kenya shillings, which is around $232,000. According to Business Today, the price of villas in this growing leafy estate would approximately cost you around 145 million Kenyan shillings, which is about $1.3 million. Such prices vary across different estate zones and house sizes. Number two on the countdown is Ronda and Roslyn Estate. I paired Ronda and Roslyn together because they are opposite facing neighborhoods. Ronda is one of the coolest estates to live in Nairobi. It is 14.5 kilometers from the city center and has a bit of a rural and natural touch to it thanks to the surrounding forest. It currently retains the distinct status of being the most secured estate in East Africa. Ronda is an abbreviation of Reserve United Nations Development Area. It is a no-brainer why it is the most secured place to live in Nairobi. The surrounding neighborhood features organizations like the U.S. Embassy and the U.N. Complex, making Runda home to mostly expatriates and foreigners. Runda Estate further has the best recreational environment due to many trees and large green vegetation all around. Accommodation in Runda would usually come in form of large contemporary houses on very huge plots of lands. Here, the environment is serene, quiet, peaceful and secluded to allow the rich and famous to live private and comfortable lifestyles. Runda Estate hosts the largest East African leading mall, the Two Rivers. The Two Rivers is a mega mall and a mini city with multinational organizations, supermarket and restaurant. The average cost of buying a house in Runda is approximately 150 million Kenyan shillings, which is about $1.39 million. Renting a house in Runda would approximately cost you 250,000 Kenyan shillings per month, which is around $2,320 per month. While Roslyn is an upscale estate between Red Hill Road and Limuru Road. The lavish estate situates itself in the middle of the most expensive estate in Nairobi. It is surrounded by estates like Gigiri, Ronda, Kitsusuru and other high-end estates. Moreover, it is a few miles from the Canadian Embassy 
and United Nations complex, ensuring its security. Having lots of green environment, Roslyn homes and apartments have well done lounge with some great fresh air. It is a wealthy suburb in the north side of the city, about a kilometer from the village market, the city most up market shopping center. Roslyn is also close to various schools such as the Roslyn Academy and the International School of Kenya. Security is good here and the streets are patrolled by private security firms. The average price of a four-bedroom house in Roslyn is around 150 million Kenya shillings, which is around $1.39 million. Most houses in Roslyn range between 80 million Kenya shillings to around 180 million Kenya shillings. Similarly, the average cost of renting a four-bedroom house in Roslyn estate is around 300,000 Kenya shillings, which is around $2,784 per month. We're actually flying a drone in the hardest situation possible. Like, where you have like so many trees, right? So this is African traveler trying to catch the drone in the bush <laughs> because of the drone policy right here, right? You can't, you cannot like really fly drones anyhow. So there are like so many trees right here, and we're trying to make sure that we take off from a spot where we're not like really noticeable and landing it. So if you're not really a a great drone pilot <laughs> you're going to have issues you're going to crash your drone literally because you can't even see it anymore you're just relying on the map yeah if, to... you, if you come here and you're you're not a good drone pilot first of all you'll be panicking the whole time and chances of you crashing your drone is really high really high so... because we've lost the drone several times yeah, yeah <laughs> signal loss like we've had it like three times signal loss and yeah they're okay with that but me i panic when i see that <laughs> So, I mean, it's, it's fun so far, so let's just keep shooting. We're going to the next How location. How are you liking it so far? It's great. It's just, <laughs> the whole experience is just making me laugh. I'm like, in my country, I'll really just go close to the estate and fly from there. So you, yeah. You're lucky. You guys are lucky. <laughs> I, told, I told my Ghanaian friends as well, I was in Ghana, and I was like, I felt like I'm in an in, in unreal world. When wow. I come here, like, drone, so something just like... He, he was telling me, hey, John, can I get you a drone for the weekend? I was like... Giving you a drone is not a problem. <laughs> where are you going to fly? Probably it? I'm going to get arrested. <laughs> they were telling me Karen. I was like, a week ago, two weeks ago, a, a white person was arrested flying in Karen. I was like, wow. Yeah. But so, yeah. That is, uh, if, you, if you come to Kenya, yeah, uh, the youth are really, you will see the, the reception they'll give you. As long as you want to show the best side, guys will love your content. They will come to eat like fire. Mm. and they will they will support like internet here is fast so many youth are connected to it yeah and uh, youtubers who come here do very well uh but it's not easy to make content in kenya at all it's not yeah, <laughs> it's not it's not so respect kenyan content creators respect <laughs> them a lot <laughs> all right so let's go to the next location <laughs> oh. all right Number one on the countdown is Karen Estate. Although Karen is located further away from the city as compared to other neighborhoods on the list, the serenity and natural scenery more than make up for its distance. The suburb is located southwest of the city center, considered very posh and has a large European residence population and it's home to the celebrity and wealthy people in Nairobi. Karen is one of the oldest residential areas in Kenya. It is a cozy mix of old colonial bungalows and lovely villas that sit on sweeping grounds. Homes here are sought after and very expensive. The estate also houses two of the Kenyan top hospitals, Nairobi Hospital and the Karen Hospital. Karen also has a good number of top schools such as the Brook House and Hillcrest International School. Their private and government-owned security organization providing the best security for the Karen estate dwellers. There's a lot of upmarket properties to buy. To buy a house in Karen Estate is quite expensive. The average price of buying a house in Karen averaged around 200 million Kenya shillings, which is around $1.8 million. To rent a four bedroom in Karen would approximately cost you 350,000 Kenya shillings, which is about $3,248 monthly. All 
Alright guys, so that is basically what it is for the top 10 estate right here in Nairobi, Kenya. I mean, I'm really speechless with what I have seen. So to him, it seems like, oh, no, it's normal. But coming from my country and looking at the real estate that we have done over there, coming to look at the real estate over here, it is nowhere compared to... I mean, we cannot compare the real estate. Nigerian will come for you. Like, like you can't Nigerian, come for me because I, I know, I, I, you I've been in Nairoland. My fans from Nairoland. Nairoland. Uh, like, I know, you, I know you cannot come because. Do you know what I think? You. I think our real estate is very overpriced. And you know mm. why I think so? Mm. Because in a city, there has, there must be a designated area for the rich. So mm. our designated area for the rich, they, 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 they are well stay there, but the neighborhood is not rich. You know mm. things that make neighborhood rich? Golf courts, green areas, yeah. green spaces, a lot of trees, and contemporary homes. Because even in Banana Island, you're going to see apartments. Where we just came from, there is no apartment. Yeah, in Kenya. Just five bedrooms, fully detached, and that's what it is. In, in Kenya, we have... That's why I was telling you the difference between the wealthy and the mm. high, high and middle class. Yeah. So the wealthy neighborhood, they have a residential organization where they limit you can't build a flat. Mm. Like strictly you can't build a flat. flat there. You yeah. can't allow some major uh, trucks to come in. They have a limitation of the vehicle to, to use. Mm. Um, the greenery, you can't like you can't cut tree without like a thousand approvals. Wow. Just to cut one tree. So, uh, and uh, yeah, that's something that in Kenya, I, 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 was, I was in Ghana, and it's something I really missed. Like, I was in the wealthy neighborhood, and it was like, you know, it's like everywhere is just concrete, you know, your face. Yeah, and, basically. And in Kenya, like, trees is, uh, trees, trees the greenery. Yeah, you're like, telling me that um, for every tree you cut, you have to plant two. Yeah, that was the culture that we grew up to, uh, mm. we grew in. Actually, the first woman laureate who won the laureate prize in Africa was a Kenyan woman, Ongari wow. Mathai, and uh, he was uh, an environmentalist. You wow. know, he won that because he fought the previous government, where, like North Katri, he was harassed, tortured, but like he always found his way. Wow. Because he wow. brought. And yeah, and Kenya is basically one of those countries that love nature. Like crazy. I'm stunned already. So, guys, let me know which of these estates you love so much yeah. in the comment section. Like, let's take that conversation over there. All right. Now, this is African Traveler. I'm going to link to his channel. Please, guys, reach out to him if you love real estate content as well. Follow his channel. He does an amazing job on that um, angle. And don't forget, guys, we are trying to crush 50,000 subscribers <laughs> by the end of the month and we are like at 30 something so let's make that, that magic happen subscribe if you're a first time subscriber and share our videos if you always watch so we can get discovered by even more people my name is Steven and this is the African Traveler until next time see you <laughs> bye, bye.